They said it couldn't be done. They said it was foolish to think we'll play a 10 game conference only football season in the middle of a worldwide pandemic and we'll get all the games in. They said the SEC was crazy. You'll never pull it off. Well, maybe they were crazy, but they pulled it off. It's over. Alabama survives in a great SEC championship game in Atlanta. When the final seconds cleared on the clock in Atlanta for the SEC championship game, that meant the league had completed, count them, 69 of 71 regular season games. 97.183%. How in the world? It boils down to one thing, really. Leadership. And holy cow, talk about a broad subject. Hard to nail down. A million different books written about leadership, including a million different takes. I just know this, whatever leadership is supposed to accomplish, this is it. When the rest of the sports world was in hold and fold mode, Greg Sankey and those he works with were in a measure twice, cut once frame of mind. It is not, um, it's not simply going to be a guiding moment if another conference makes a decision, but a piece of information along this really, really interesting journey. A more formal way to say it would be a thorough and deliberate approach, to use Sankey's words. Sankey said he got advice from Stella Self, professor of epidemiology at South Carolina. Quote, if you're going to make major decisions, take as long as you can because information around COVID-19 is developing every day. And if you wait as long as possible, you're going to have better information to use when you make those major decisions, she said. And that's what he did. So the SEC, the conference known for being first, quickest, least hesitant in making decisions, TV deals, conference networks, expansion, example, example, decided to do the opposite of their normal out front approach. We'll push the dates back, wait until late in the process to start and measure results every day. By moving later, really than anyone had at the time, uh, to give those campus uh, locales and communities the opportunity to welcome students back, which is what we do, by the way. It's this educational thing, despite what the cynics may think. They were called names, the stubborn six. That's what they called conferences who were determined to find a way to play football this year. They won't give up football even if it kills them said the mushy-headed media. Meanwhile, Sankey was listening to the people that mattered most in all of this, the players and coaches in his conference. Uh, we're looking at third-party testing opportunities so that we can have independence, common reporting, common testing. A uh, lot of uh, work to achieve that, but certainly a, a, a part of making football viable. On August 11th, the Big Ten rushed its decision and canceled fall sports. Our overarching you know, reason and the overarching uh, issues that we had to always keep at the top of our mind, the safety, the wellness, and both physical and mental for our student athletes was going to be at the top of my list. The reasons for canceling at that time were even less clear than Kevin Warren's explanation for those reasons. When you look at this decision, uh, it just we just believe collectively there's too much uncertainty. Yeah, all hell is breaking loose around Kevin Warren. Uh, you know, fans are up in arms, but even more importantly, the membership itself from Nebraska to you know, Ryan Day today even alluding to we would we would still like to find options to play. James Franklin alluding to that today. There is not a closing of ranks behind that decision. Sankey's response, measured and patient. I remain comfortable with the thorough and deliberate approach that the SEC is taking. Again, right move. The SEC moved forward, started practice, isolated all their teams, tested every individual three times a week, navigated several postponements, nailed the rescheduling, and even worked around a couple of hurricanes. Folks, it's downright incredible what they pulled off. You know, on Sunday, it was all over if I read social media and lived by it. But we're still here and we're going to keep working to see if we can move it along. Because uh, what's been told to me by, by young men on our team is they want an opportunity. They want a safe and healthy opportunity, but they want an opportunity to compete. And if we can do that, we will. Lo and behold, the Big Ten reversed its decision and got the season going at some point. They deserve credit for pushing any ego to the side and admitting they may have been a little premature in their initial decision. But in the end, the whole thing is just the latest example 
the SEC leads and the rest of the country follows. Sankey has shown he can lead out front or from behind. The most impressive thing is knowing which one. 69 games of a possible 71 in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Unfathomable in August. Hats off, Commissioner. Athletic directors and presidents, coaches and players. Hats off, Southeastern Conference.